Welcome back to the Math Guy. We are looking at something really important today. We are looking at the order of operations. Let's begin. Okay, so what is the order of operations? Well, the order of operations is a mathematical principle, meaning the order that we need to do operations within a mathematical question. And we have this little term bod mass to try and help us remember what order that is in. So let's have a look, and let's have a look at this question that we've got in the middle of the screen here. So our starting point would be here with the B, and our B stands for brackets. So the first thing we would have to work out in any question, if there is it, would be a bracket. Then our O stands for order, which is this little power of two here next to the brackets. And then the D stands for division. Our M is multiplication. Our A is addition and our S stands for subtraction, but in this case we don't have any subtraction, but that would come last. Now in some instances you might see bid mass down here where the I and the O are different, and in bid mass it just means index. Same principle, it still means this power of two here, but it's just taught differently in different places. So bod mass, bid mass, exactly the same thing. Okay, so let's follow our order of operations and try and solve this question then. So our first order is brackets. So we're going to solve the question in the brackets first. And in my brackets I can see 12 divided by 3. Now, some of you might have noticed that our power of is connected to the brackets. But because it's not in the bracket, we're not going to do that at this stage. So I'm going to rewrite my next line and it would be 4 plus. Now I can solve the brackets. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. And because now 4 is the only thing inside the bracket, I can actually now get rid of my brackets. Maybe 4 to the power of 2 multiplied by 2. Okay, the next thing to do is the order, which in this case is this power of 2 here. So 4 to the power of 2 is just 4 multiplied by itself, so 4 times 4, and 4 times 4 is 16. So my next row would read 4 plus 16 times 2. My next one says division, and we actually don't have any more division in this question left, so I can move on to my multiplication. And my multiplication is this part here, 16 times 2. And the answer to 16 times 2 is 32. So my next row would be 4 plus 32. And I can now do my addition. And that's our last question, actually. So I can now do 4 plus 32, and 4 plus 32 equals 36. So my total answer for this expression is 36. OK, let's look at a harder one then. Let's look at this one here. And what's important to bring up now is that our division and multiplication and our addition and subtraction are linked. So although it says that our division will come before our multiplication and our addition should come before our subtraction, actually the case would be that if we get to a division or multiplication part, we would do it in the order that it's written. So if we were to look at this stage here, 4 divided by 2 times 3, I would actually start with my 4 divided by 2 because that's the first in the sequence. But if it read 4 times 2 divided by 5, then I would actually start with my multiplication because that's first in the sequence. So my division and multiplication are linked, and so is my addition and subtraction. So with that in mind, let's begin. And I'm going to start with this bracket first of all. Now in this bracket, I can already see that I have an order up here. So I'm going to do that part of the bracket first. So now my bracket would read 2 times 2, which is 4, plus 3 times 4. To the power of 2. OK, looking back at my first bracket, there's no division in this question, so I can move to the multiplication. 3 times 4, which is 12. So I've got 4 plus 12 to the power of 2. Now within this bracket, I can finish off with my addition. And 4 plus 12 is 16, so it would be 16 to the power of 2. And because 16 is on its own, I can actually get rid of that bracket and I can simply work out 16 squared. And 16 times 16 is actually 256. So I'd end up with 256. Now I can move on to my other bracket, and I can see that in this bracket I'm going to have to work out the division first, which would be 4 divided by 2, which is 2. So I'd end up with 256 divided by 2 times 5 plus 2. And now in my next row I'm going to do the multiplication of this bracket, which is 2 times 5. So I'm ending up with 256 divided by 10. And now I've got rid of the bracket. And now I can see my question says 256 divided by 10 plus 2. And I'm going to have to work out the division first, because that's first in my bod mass before the addition. 
So I can do 256 divided by 10, which would be 25.6, and I'd have my plus 2. Now I'm ready for my final line, where I can solve the final part, the addition, and 25.6 plus 2 equals 27.6, which is my final answer. So the final answer to this expression is 27.6, following my bod mass rule. Okay, some things to remember then. So bod mass can also be called bid mass. You might see it like that in some expressions, depending on whether we call it order or index. We must work in this order when solving any expressions. And then finally, the addition and subtraction, and then the multiplication and division, they are actually paired, and we would do those in the sequence that they appear in from left to right. And there you have it. That is everything you need to know about bod mass. Hopefully this has been useful. If it has, please think about subscribing, like this video, and I'll see you in another time, guys. Peace out.